Next at 10, the news first came out in September. Gino Gargano decided to close his longtime State Street restaurant after 50 years. It was time to retire. But before Gino could serve his last pizza or famous lasagna, we asked News 3 traveler Mark Kane to pay one last visit to Gino's. If Hollywood were to build a set to look like an Italian restaurant, it would look like this. And Central Casting would hire this guy to be the chef. But who needs Hollywood? Madison has Gino Gargano and his State Street restaurant. I'll tell you something. This is the best thing in my restaurant. I just saw this morning. This is called Bolognese. Mm -hmm. Gino was born and raised in Sicily. He moved to Madison to be with his brother in his early 20s. He opened Gino's at 540 State Street on July 5th, 1963. The original menu hangs in the entrance. Prices have gone up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, I'm making money that time. I was just by myself, you know, with 10 booze. You get a whole dinner for $1.40. Italian sausage with tomato sauce served with juice, salad, bread, butter, and coffee. A buck 40. Now, 50 years and what he estimates is 3.6 million pizzas later, Gino and his wife Stella have decided to retire. Yeah, retire from 18 hour days, seven days a week. A time to enjoy life. So you got to be here all the time. Exactly. That's the secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of being here all the time. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, I used to be every single night. Now, especially on Friday night, they want me here, I can't do it. Because if I do, then I, the rest of the week I'll be dead. Yeah. It's impossible. And uh, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'm 72 years old. <laughs> Famous for his pizza. I'm making a pizza margarita. That's my favorite pizza. Pizza margarita. Italian tomatoes, mozzarella, and olive oil topped with fresh basil. And famous for that lasagna. Are you going to tell the secret of the lasagna when you're... No, no way. When no? I be dead, it's there. <laughs> In real life, I don't give anybody. Not to my wife either. And this place yeah. has been a family affair. Daughter Virginia works here now. Good morning. Good morning. And it's been like home for who knows how many UW students who remain loyal long after graduating. Gino's not going to miss the long hours. What he will miss... My customer. And boy, are we going to miss that margarita pizza. Mm. Oh, that's good. Going to miss you, Gino. <laughs> well, it's sad, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. I'm going to try and enjoy my life. Always I know work, 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 work. You need a day off. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Just, uh, you know, like I said, I miss my employer, my, miss my customer. That's it. You know what I mean? Okay. That's it. Hollywood couldn't write a better ending. Traveling in Madison, I'm Mark King, WISC News 3. Boy, a lot of people are going to miss him. A New York retailer will be moving into the lower level of the building. The Kabul restaurant, already on State Street, will locate upstairs. Gino's last day is this Thursday, Halloween, and a big party is planned, and you are all invited. Hope to see you there.